Share and in today we will be talking about one plugin that I have been using for a long time and I really mean to share it with you because I see this plugin is going to be very useful for you in certain cases. So the plugin that I am talking about today is WPDB Manager plugin. Basically this is a database management plugin for your WordPress blog and what it do is it can um, so you can do various things related to your database from the dashboard itself. So let me show you by installing this plugin and how you can start using it. So you can install it right now uh, while watching the video also. You just need to type wp-db manager, search for plugin and install now. So I, I'm doing that on my local server right now. So basically this plugin offer many features where you can go ahead and check the data, database detail of your blog, you can optimize repair and do various other things. So this is very interesting especially if you are in the process of cleaning your database or you might have installed various plugins in the past and you are not using them anymore. So using this plugin you can remove many tables along with that. So I'll show you show that part to you. So once the plugin is installed and activated, you can access the settings from here. So let me show you all the settings one by one. So first we'll look at database setting. So in the database table, you can see the details about your database, like your database name, your database username, the version that you are using, along with that, all the tables that you are using, uh, your database is using right now. So it can, it's very useful, especially when uh, sometimes what happens like you install the plugin and start using a lot of records. So for example, in the past, I have used redirection plugin and that added a lot of records in, in my database and just going through it, I could figure out, okay, so this is particular table that is consuming too many, uh, adding too many records. And I may be like, if possible, I just let, uh, get rid of that particular plugin if I want to keep my database size uh, in small so th that is one feature of this plugin the another one is backup database using backup database you can quickly take backup of your database right away now there are chances are you might see uh, something like this uh, while you're using it so you what you need to do you need to log into your FTP uh, of your website and create the database uh, create a directory with the permission 777 though uh, say i don't really use this plugin for taking the database backup because there are few other plugins which are equally good and one of them is backup uh, db another good plugin and if you're or if you're using a service like manage wp you can use that to take backup of your database while uh, one thing which i really want you to know about the taking the database backup is uh, or or in a, in a way, if you want to take a backup of your WordPress blog, take a backup of your database and take a backup of your WP content folder. Otherwise, if you are rest, uh, if your something happens to your website and you want to restore it on a new server, you need you won't be able to restore just with the database backup. So that is something which is going to be useful for you. Now another thing that is managed backup DB. So this works when you have few database file. You can simply download them on your email or you can simply select the database right now. I don't have any uh, backed up database, but if once you have it, you can select it and restore the database directly. So basically this plugin helps you to take backup and as well as you can restore the database. Now this is my most uh, interesting part that is optimizing the database. So what do you need to do like, you know, once in a while, it's a good idea to optimize database to remove the overhead from your database. Basically, the those uh, tables that you are not using anymore or of or of or of no use, using this you can get rid of that. Now, the repair database you might need it once in a while. It's better if you never need it. But yeah, the thing of this, uh, the like sometimes what happens, uh, the database gets corrupted. I mean, maybe because of any reason, and you might notice that your home page is not showing any uh, data i mean not showing any post so one quick solution for that is you simply go to this plugin and re repair the database i mean most of the time when you're looking for a solution you will see people saying like you know log into your php my admin select all the tables and repair so instead of logging there you can simply do that from using with the help of this plugin now the empty drop table this part is for the advanced user and people who know who 
if you understand WordPress a bit, uh, as in, in terms of what plugins is being used by your, what tables is being used by your plugin, uh, you can use this uh, feature. So what happens is, let's say you might have used add rotate plugin. I mean, right now I already have add rotate plugin used uh, installed in my blog, and maybe let's say after a while I remove this plugin, I don't use it anymore, but the tables are still there. So what you can do. You can simply select drop, drop, drop in front of all the WP add rotate tables. Or let's say if there is any plugin like, you know, 404 log plugin or redirection plugin, which logs the, you know, the information and you don't need those information after a while, you can simply empty them. Like instead of dropping the table, you can just simply, uh, simply remove all the index index from the table so that is again very useful at times so use this only when you know what you're doing I'm, i won't recommend this this to everyone because this is quite uh, this might lead you into issues if you're not uh, sure of what you're doing uh, though if you are playing it for the first time or even multiple uh, uh, even after a while i would recommend take a complete backup of, of your database because that is very highly recommended when you're whenever you're doing, making any changes to your database so once you have selected all the uh, empty and drop tables, you can simply click on empty drop and it will do, um, it will empty or drop the table as selected by you. Wow, this feature like the run SQL query is something going to be very useful for you. I mean, if you log into your PHP my admin, the whole interface is very technical. I mean, it looks technical and it looks scary. For the first time when I logged in, I find found it like, wow, this is somewhere I don't really want to mess up. So here what you can do, you can just uh, run any SQL query that you intend to run for your database. Usually I uh, use it to remove uh, some tables or make some quick changes, uh, which I can do with the SQL query. I have already added a link in the description, which talks about how to reduce WordPress database size. From there, you can find a list of few SQL queries that you can run right now. And the last option is DB options. So here you can configure a few things like uh, where do you want to take backup of your database? How many database backup file you need? Uh, I would recommend keep it like low number four or five. That is good. And so another thing is like you can schedule your uh, backup of your database. So depending upon how often you uh, update your blog. So let's say if you update your blog daily, I would suggest take daily backup of your blog. If not daily, I mean, if you publish like one post in a week, then weekly backup is good for you. Uh, you can also gzip your database file. That's very useful uh, to, uh, you know, keep your backed up file uh, less in size. Then they have the option for opt automatic optimization and repairing of database. I won't really recommend that because there are times where I have noticed, you know, few issues. Like when you optimize your database and your database gets corrupted, I mean, it's not a big deal, but something I really, I would suggest you do it manually. Similar with the repairing of database, there's no point of doing it like back to back when it's not required. Then you can also, you know, uh, back up your database directly to email. So this feature you might need if you're taking a backup and you don't want to install it on your server. This though, again, I repeat myself, uh, it's good if you're taking a backup of your WordPress blog, take a backup of your WP content folder and backup of your database. So pretty much that's it. Uh, and you might notice this particular notice at the top. So what you need to do, you need to log into your FTP server and go to the plugins WP manager select the htd.xs.txt file, move it to this particular folder, WP contain backup dv, and rename the file to .htxs. Basically, this is to uh, ensure the security of your back backup folders. So pretty much that's it. And this is one awesome plugin that you should you can use right now. And look forward for more similar reviews. You can also uh, go to my channel and see more reviews of different WordPress plugins. If you want me to review any particular WordPress plugin, you can let me know via comments. Thank you for watching. This is Harsh.